And I am in Brooklyn tonight following the story of the tragic death of 16 year old Kiana Thomas. When Kiana's killer is caught, he's going to be brought right here to the 73rd precinct in Brooklyn, about five minutes away from where she was killed and where tonight her parents and her family spoke out publicly for the first time. I received over a million condolences and everyone asked me, is there anything I can do? The only thing I want this community to do is help me find the person that killed my daughter. Though in the grip of grief, Kiana Thomas's mother stepped forward at tonight's packed candlelight prayer vigil, demanding justice for her murdered 16-year-old daughter and that her killer be caught. Kiana's distraught cousin spoke tonight too. I just want somebody to close, somebody to give this family some closure by coming out and speaking. And I just know who did this to our cousin. I was with her the night before. I don't want to wake. I don't, I don't want somebody to feel the pain that we felt. Tonight, <laughs> hundreds filled the streets just steps away from the corner in the Ocean Hill bed neighborhood where 16-year-old Kiana Thomas was savagely murdered by a knife-wielding killer. The community gathered to honor her memory and plead for her killer to turn himself in. The emotional evening ended with the release of white and pink balloons symbolizing Kiana's spirit moving on. One, two, Three. As it goes up, everybody say her name 16 times. And they took everything I got, man. They took half of everything I got, you know. Right now, you know, we, we're just trying to figure out what happened, man, you know. Kiana herself may have called 911 on the night she was attacked. She was taken by ambulance to nearby Interfaith Hospital, where she was pronounced dead on arrival. According to published reports, police are zeroing in on Kiana's possible killer, possibly a former acquaintance who'd recently sent threatening text messages to Kiana's phone. And in a moment that truly moved the crowd tonight, participants added another 10 thousand dollars to the amount of reward money offered for information leading to the capture of Kiana Thomas's killer. Reporting live tonight from Brooklyn, I'm Peter Thorne, PIX11 News. Jody, back to you.